morning, good morning, good morning. Is it the oldest well drilling rig in America? I'll bet it is. So, welcome to the channel. For those of you that have not subscribed, go ahead and do yourself a favor and subscribe. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about water. And many of you that are long, long time followers of the channel have been saying, hey guys, you need to find a permanent solution to your water. You cannot, it's not sustainable to be hauling water every day for your cows. And we heard you, we, we knew that, but everything at its due time, here we are drilling our farm well today and I wanted to show you the rig. I know I, I kind of showed it in a previous video, but I'm going to do a little bit more of a detailed uh, breakdown of this thing. So here you have a water truck and what this does is it feeds water to the drill head so that when it's drilling some um, water is actually working on the drill head to help with the friction and so on and clearly I'm not a well expert but I've seen this process a couple times including in our homestead so the the water tank truck old as it is old GMC 7500 as you can see right there but it's not as old as the rig itself as you can see here this rig is actually 56 years old and what I mean by that is that for 56 years this thing has been drilling wells in the Northwest Arkansas area and that to me is amazing we're talking about probably the oldest well drilling rig in the US and I'm not sure what all the components of the rig are I know there's oil clearly there's hydraulics to bring the tower up and then they have the different bits um, that they use and I don't mean different bits but the different shafts that they add on to that they're stored in the tower itself you can see them right there I want to say that they are maybe 40 50 foot each so that every time that the drill head is going down and it kind of maxes out on the current shaft they add another one and they start the process all over again and then here you can see kind of the rock sediment however you want to call it that comes out once the drilling head is doing its thing and I, I did not want to uh, take a picture or a video of this in action because it's quite loud you can see the controls right there
piece of equipment like this that takes so much abuse has been to withstand the test of time and it's not that it doesn't get used i can tell you that for this particular well we've been on the waiting list for over two years for a different well that i did with mr kane who is who runs a well the gentleman who is 84 years young and i had to wait for months before he could get to me and now i'm taking the advantage and drilling a couple wells one here and one in the other field of the new rental house that we showed i'll leave a link to that video in the description but anyways the, the long and short of this story is that this is impressive can you imagine the strength and the character that you gotta have to be 84 years old and still working something like this that speaks a lot about the previous generations it speaks a lot about the character and the work ethic of the countryman to me is something to kind of tip your hat because I, I hope that the Most High gives me the strength and the health to be doing things like this at age 84. And the truck is, I mean, clearly it's, it's you know, in, in older conditions, but when it's running, this thing is running. There's no hiccups, there's no, it's just a, a beast. And for comparison, and I'll leave you with this last piece, we've had some other companies with the you know newer rigs state-of-the-art technology however you want to call it drill in a brother's land and the outcome and the result was much different in my wells I don't think I've ever gone beyond 250 feet and found tons of clean very amazing water and the guys with the newer rigs and you know all the technology to speak about had to drill for six seven hundred feet and the outcome was not as expected let's just put it that way my point with that is that sometimes experience and the the time that you put into things is what's going to be bring you the best results it's not the tools the tools are just that the experience is what allows you to have good results so it's a short video i hope that you enjoy i like this type of thing especially all big strong trucks like this one and i felt that some of you may enjoy it and now that we have the well probably today at the latest tomorrow the well will be done we'll be able to kind of set up a station here of some sort that will allow us to avoid having to rig i mean rig whole water all the way up and this will certainly make things much easier at the exact time that we need it before our herd gets a little larger so with that i hope you all like and enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and pound the like button hit subscribe the bell notification share da 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 and See you on the next time.